And I'd like to apply the Daring Faith study. I would like to ask you to give the biggest offering you've ever given in the history of this church or in your life. Come April 22nd, please bring this offering in this church, in our worship. And I will be guiding all of us from ourselves to our family and to our small group and to the community. I will not burden you so much with words, but I, it will be on a monthly basis. And so I challenge you, please be generous, not at ICF. Be generous in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. At this point, I'd like to call on Pastor RJ. One of the reasons why I'm pursuing all this generosity is because uh, I stepped down a few, years, a few years as treasurer of this church. But for 18 years, as I served as treasurer, we never fall short. But since I stepped down, people say, come October, oh, we cannot do appreciation because we don't have funds. A few years, we cannot uh, treat birthday celebrants every month because we don't have funds. And it became ingrained on me, how will I celebrate my 33rd wedding anniversary if I don't have funds? But you know what? A couple gave us a gift certificate in a French restaurant. It's, the gift certificate is more than enough to celebrate our 33rd wedding anniversary. My point is, when we are generous to others, it will come back to us. And so we don't have to worry. We don't have to be anxious. God is so rich. And personally, I can attest to that. I'm turning 64. My struggle is, will I give up a big income to a retirement uh, income? I said, God will always provide, and we will always be blessed and happy in life. Just obey. Pastor RJ, in behalf of the church, we would like to give you a uh, gift of words and at the same time, gifts uh, in substance. And uh, let it be known that this church is a generous church. And don't doubt about it. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not going to sing. I'm just going to say thank you.
we're all up here today because, not to say goodbye, but a farewell um, to our friend, our pastor, our Guya RJ. Um, we all wish you luck as we send you up with love and support as God guides you in this new chapter of your life. And even Liana has some words to add. Okay, uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done for me and the Andrew family. Thank you for some of the best memories I have, like car rides and um, youth camp and like Friday youth services. And thank you for always being there for me. And most importantly, thank you for being the closest I have to an older brother. Even though our youth isn't full, because the girls are in college in Florida, we were able to get some videos from them. And within this video, we have pictures and videos of all memories we made together. And this isn't really all, but there are so many, but these are just some and the best. So. Yeah, um, I am my I guess, since you're leaving. Bye. Um, praying for you as you're going back to PCI, they do great things. Thank you for being a good youth pastor to anchor in everything. We really good to miss you. Um, thank you for teaching me, Rachel, also how to be good leaders. leadership or whatever. Um, thank you for helping me develop playing the guitar and doing worship with the kids and also like also during the church. Um who else? Thanks for being just great, I guess. Even and you're always gonna be you're always gonna be the queer that kicked me in the face when I was a kid. For those of you who don't know, we used to stage dive during the youth events and then he stage dived and kicked me in the face. <laughs> um, gonna miss you. Gonna miss jamming out to Case Fly School with you. Yeah. Um, we'll see you around. Bye. What up, you are day? I uh, just wanted to say my bye to Pensacola. I'll let you know that we love you, and I know I love you.
स्पीड देखा